interesting question is not how will technology replace people? The question is how does technology force us to reconsider the work that people do? This is happening in other industries. So, so take astronomy, for example. Now, in the old days, if you wanted to find planets or study star systems, you kind of just had to look through a telescope and spend a lot of time at night looking at the sky. But things have changed because of technology in this field. And so, you know, in 2009, they launched the Kepler telescope, which was designed to, to find Earth-like planets in other star systems. But what made this telescope different was it was designed to collect massive amounts of data. It studied the data of, you know, when another body passes in front of another star, whether there was a slight dimming in light. But there were literally thousands and thousands of data entries, more than any human being could analyze. And that, that set off a, a Google engineer by the name of uh, Chris Shallow, was thinking about this. He thought, this is a classic example of an area where maybe machine learning and artificial intelligence could help. So he did some you know, Googling around. He found another astronomer, a guy called Andrew Vandenberg, who's at the University of Texas in Austin. And he said, listen, maybe we should work together. So what they did is that they trained a artificial intelligence to essentially do the job of sifting through all that data. And in doing so, they discovered a number of new planets that had been completely missed by traditional astronomers. You see, in the future, 21st century astrophysicists are not going to explore the universe with their eyes. They're going to explore it with algorithms, with data. Part of understanding the future of your profession is to look at ways in which technology allows you to do things that were never done before at a scale and with a level of service that you couldn't have done in the past.